everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Huck. Today I'm doing a review of Spear by Nicola Griffith. So Spear is Nicola Griffith's most recent release. It is a gender-bent, queer, Arthurian retelling mostly focused on Percival. I at first thought for some reason that this book was about the Lady of the Lake and it does have like some connection to her I guess, but it's really much more about Percival as a character. So the way this book starts is we begin with our main character living out in the woods with her mother. She is an unnamed girl um, and we know that her, there's something from her mother's past that she has escaped from and that her mother is hiding from which is why they live out like in the woods by themselves by themselves and why her mother has like magical wards over them so that they can't be found, they don't really interact with other people. Um, and so she begins not really knowing much about the outside world. As she gets older of course she's curious about the outside world so she finds like you know other other people that she kind of watches from afar to learn more about people uh, and as she learns more about the outside world she feels that she is meant to become one of King Arthur's knights and so she starts to teach herself how to fight, how to ride a horse, she finds um, different uh, you know armor and weapons that she can use for her own purposes and kind of puts together gear for herself um, and eventually sets out to make her way to Camelot and King Arthur uh, and along the way do deeds to uh, make a name for herself. All the while she is disguised as a boy. Uh, we also know that she has some kind of magical powers, magical senses, uh, where she can kind of like speak to the wind and things like that and she can also like communicate with animals um, and it is this very like very soft magic that's not very explained. It very much feels like a legend. And overall this book does have that very like legend type feel to it. There is a little bit of a distance from the characters but in this case it worked for me. I really enjoyed the very like legend kind of uh, feel to it and I did really like the magic that she has this kind of like nature magic that she can like commune with nature kind of thing and it helps her in um, her ability to fight. Now I think that there are some people who might find the magic frustrating because the magic is very unexplained. It doesn't have any real, we don't really know much about it if there are any real boundaries to it uh, and it does kind of aid her in a way that makes her kind of like good at everything and just feel like she always succeeds at things because she has this upper hand on everyone else because she can kind of like know things that other people can't know and like the wind will speak to her while she's fighting so she knows their weaknesses and that sort of thing. Um, which I think could be frustrating for some people. I really enjoyed it in this. I think that if it had been a longer book, because this is a novella so it's fairly short, if it had been a longer book it may have started to get frustrating over time but in this like condensed story I think it worked really well uh, and it kind of added to that feeling of like this is a legend. I really liked the way that the author um, did this like retelling of an Arthurian legend. I think that she had a really good balance of kind of reinterpreting things or putting a new spin or new take on things or kind of seeing them from a different angle while also weaving in uh, core elements of Arthurian legends and sometimes weaving them in in a way that also kind of uh, was like a little bit of a different take on them which I really enjoyed. I liked seeing the different connections and some connections to the original legends. I think it was fun to have this kind of gender-bent version of the knight uh, and also that the main character is queer and she does have relationships with other women throughout the book uh, and I thought those were woven in really well. It wasn't like a central 
part of the story but was very much present and it just felt very naturally woven in and I enjoyed a lot of the relationships uh, that were a part of this which also can be hard to do in a novella to get the reader invested or at least just enjoying a relationship because there isn't a lot of time for build up uh, but I just really liked the way that she integrated them into the story and um, the arc of the character. One of my favorite things though about the book was really um, Nicola Griffith's writing. I loved her writing. It is so beautifully written and has just wonderful atmosphere to it. This is one of those books like it's so short but it had such a clear feeling to it that it was one of those books that like when I wasn't reading it I kept thinking about it because I could like remember the feeling of the book and I just wanted to be back there and feeling that again uh, which is something that personally I love. I love atmosphere in books and those kind of books that have such a distinct feel to them that they keep drawing you back again and again because you want to re-experience that feeling. Um, so I am really excited to read more from Nicola Griffith. I've already ordered <laughs> Two more books from her uh, because I enjoyed her writing so much that I'm really interested to see what her writing is like in other books as well. So I really loved this book. I gave it 4.5 stars uh, and I just had such a great time reading it. I would love to know if any of you have read it and what you thought of it but thank you all for watching and until next time bye!